What we have to understand, the concept that we really need to understand going forward to enact these solutions is what personal sovereignty is. We have to understand that the conceptual idea of sovereignty at a deep level, understand what it really is, what it means, and how we can exercise sovereignty in our own lives. Sovereignty means that we are a unique being and we are free by the nature of our birth into the cosmos. Our rights do not come from any man or any group of men or any organization. Our rights are inborn by the very nature of us being born into the world. We are all sons and daughters of God. No matter what you want to look at that concept of God, that creative generative principle as, we are all individual unique expressions of that consciousness. We are all born free into the universe. No one can ever take that freedom away. They can believe that they have the right to do so, but ultimately they do not possess that right because ultimately there is no authority in this realm. Any claims of authority are simply that, beings that are claiming authority over others and others who actually accept and believe their claim that they have authority over them. But it doesn't exist in actual manifest reality. It is only a claim and a belief by those who accept the claim of authority. There is only one authority and no man is it. This is enshrined, this principle of sovereignty is enshrined in the Declaration of Independence, a very high consciousness document. The language is extremely specific in the Declaration of Independence and it reflects a high level of understanding and a high level of uh, consciousness and an understanding of sovereignty. It says that we hold these truths to be self-evident. So it's not a belief, it's a truth. It's not questioned as a belief, it's self-evident. It's a truth that is self-evident. The language is very specific. It isn't a belief that we happen to kind of resonate with. It's a truth that is so obvious we recognize it as being self-evident. That all men are created equal. Created equal. That implies a creator. Okay? They are endowed by their creator. An endowment is a birthright. It is something that you come into the universe already owning, already possessing. It's a birthright by their creator. The creator is that which has endowed this right to us, has given it to us as a birthright with certain unalienable rights. Unalienable means these rights can never be separated from the individual. They cannot be made alien to the individual. Among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. A very high consciousness document, and I think in the, our modern day and age in this country, we've really lost sight of these truths. We've really lost sight of what sovereignty really is. We need to go back and look to the consciousness of the individuals that comprise documents such as this and understand really what they were saying and what these these um, these statements that were made meant. And again, it's a declaration. It's a true statement of that which is, of independence, of no dependence upon anyone else because we recognize our own personal sovereignty. 